Hello friends, I'm going to talk today about astronomy and astrology related to the experience we are living to bring a little hope based on the hidden reality. Opinion article, astronomers discover celestial highway. It could speed up space travel. It would actually be a network of highways. The Hubble telescope finds, finds the ninth planet. The sun is about to wake up in a storm. January will be hotter than December in politics. December is the month with the most astronomical phenomena. Everyone is waiting for the golden age of Aquarius. The Aquarian age will be a gradual process, not a sudden one. There is potential for global change after December 21st. Many light workers feel attacked these days. The conjunctions in Capricorn purify the control system. Let's start. Astronomers have discovered a celestial highway to travel through the solar system much faster than previously possible. This research was published in the journal Science Advance Advances with the striking title The Acts of Chaos in the Solar System. In my opinion, these highways or wormholes could have an artificial origin, coming from an ancient building race with a technology far superior to ours. We are fascinated by aeronautics, astronautics and science fiction films, because in the remote past we were star travelers, and we have this vocation in our blood. We look at a stat. We look at the stars with nostalgia. Astronomers have discovered a celestial highway to travel through the solar system much faster than previously possible. The development raises the prospect of rapidly sending crafts across the, above the vast swathes of space. The extraordinary network of highways was discovered by an international team of researchers from Serbia and the US. The routes can transport comets and asteroids almost a distance from Jupiter to Neptune in less than a decade, and the staggering number of 100 astronomical units in less than a century. To break this down, a single astronomical unit is roughly the distance from the Earth to the Sun, and it is equivalent to about 150 million kilometers. The distance between, between Jupiter and Neptune is almost 25 astronomical units. Scientists say that the grid could be used to send spacecraft for the far reaches of our relatively fast planetary system and to monitor and understand the near-Earth objects that might collide with our planet. The team worked at the dynamic structure of the paths, which form a series of connected arcs within what are known as space varieties that extend from the asteroid belt to Uranus and beyond. This newly discovered phenomenon acts over several decades unlike the hundreds of thousands of or millions of years that are typically of the dynamics of the solar system. Experts say that the arc structures are linked to Jupiter and the strong gravitational forces it exerts. Ninth planet. The Hubble telescope identifies a strange exoplanet similar to the sought after ninth, ninth planet. The exoplanet with a 15,000 year orbit was discovered in 2013 with the giant um, Magallanic telescope at the Las Campanas Observatory located in the Atacama Desert, Chile. Although all the planets of our solar system have been visited by spacecraft for almost the last 60 years, their outer frontier beyond Neptune has hardly been explored. 
This is a circumstantial evidence that the giant planet called Planet Nine could be housed there. If it's real, it moves along a very wide orbit that would place in 800 times faster from the Sun than the Earth. Astronomers, astronomers analyzing the Hubble images have discovered a planet about 11 time, times the mass of Jupiter called HD 106906b, which occupies strangle orbit, a strange orbit around a double star 336 light years away, much farther than um, Alpha Centaurus, which are for, for, for solar years away. This finding is an observed evidence that equally distant worlds can exist around other stars. In, in particular, it could confirm the existence of Planet Nine according to the new study published in the Astronomical Journal. Terminator Event The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration announced a major solar plasma ejection which could trigger, trigger northern lights as far south as Pennsylvania from December 9 to 11. It's to say today. After years of lethargy, a solar flare towards Earth could trigger northern lights in areas farther south than normal, and is becoming a, the signal that the sun is waking up. Researchers at the National Center for Atmospheric Research predict that the Sun is about to wake up and is expected to launch pulses of energy into space in the strangest sunspot cycle on record. The implications for Earth could be alarming, as a storming space weather could be disastrous for the digital economy. A superactive solar cycle could be bad news for the digital economy, as disruptions caused by solar flares could create massive economic damage. Imagine if a solar storm destroyed the power grids of communicating communication networks, with everyone working from home, the economy would come to a virtual standstill. This Monday, December 14th, the only total eclipse of Sun in 2020 will be visible in the Pacific Ocean, South America, Antarctica and the Atlantic Ocean. It will be the only one in 2020. The astronomical phenomenon will be partially visible in Peru, Bolivia, Uruguay, Paraguay, Ecuador and Brazil, while the inhabitants of some regions of Argentina and Chile will have the opportunity to enjoy it, it in its entirely. Astronomical phenomena. On the same day, the, Ye the Yeminids will reach their peak of activity, a meteor shower visible most clearly from the northern hemisphere, which is repeated every December when the Earth passes through the remains of an asteroid known as 3,200 Phaeton. Between the 17th and 26th, the northern sky will be illuminated by another meteor shower, the Ursites, whose maximum activity is forecast from 22nd December with an average of 10 meteors per hour and picks up to 25 meteors per hour. On December 21st, the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn will be closer to 0 0.1 degrees as they pass through the constellation of the Unicorn. And before saying goodbye to, to 2020, from 28th December and from the north, northern hemisphere, and to a lesser extent to the 15th parallel in the south, the start of the quadrantal meteor shower will be visible. 
The phenomenon which will reach its maximum intensity on 3rd January with an average of 25 meteors per hour and peaks of 110 meteors per hour. However, the intense moonlight will dim its brightness. The Great Conjunction Jupiter and Saturn are conver converging for a ray great conjunction that is being talked about so much. At the closest approach of December 21st, they will be the all, only a tenth of a degree apart, so close that some people may perceive it as a single, as a single star. The two planets will be visible on the western horizon at sunset. During this approach, which is repeated every 19 years, both gas giants can be observed at the same time with the help of small telescope. However, they will only be visible for a few moments, immediately after sunset, before the planets are hidden behind the horizon. Jupiter and Saturn have a close encounter every 20 years, but usually the conjunction is difficult to see because it occurs so close to the Sun. This year is different. The giant planets are coming together in full view during the evening twilight. The last time they were very close and easy to see was in the year 1226. So this is a rare event in fact. Dates of a special interest during the Great Conjunction of 2020 include December 16th and 17th when the crescent noon passes over the planets and December 21st of course when Saturn will be as closer to Jupiter as some Jupiter's moons enjoy the show. Potential for change. There is a potential for great change after December 21st said, said the contactee Cobra in an interview for the final activation on the Aquarian Age, which is the golden age everyone is waiting for. The age of Aquarius is really our life after the event. It's a transition from the old society to a, a new collectivity where there will be equality, love, understanding between people, new advanced technologies will be introduced, and there will be a first contact ET as well as abundance and healing for all, for everybody. The Aquarian Age is really a process. It's a process of transition between the Age of Pisces and the Age of Aquarius. And what that is actually a great old process. And December 21st of this, of this year is just one of the major transition dates. But for our planetary situation is the key date from which we can say that the Aquarian energies will be strong enough to assist planetary liberation and lead us to our ultimate goal of liberation itself. Many light workers report that they are receiving serious damage in the final battle. In addition to, medi to meditating and taking refuge in Mother Nature, there should be much more mutual support between the so-called rainbow warriors through the creation of support groups. Cobra adds that the motherships have positioned themselves through the solar system with the ultimate purpose of planetary liberation for Earth. So now they are in their final position and are really to transmit the energies that are treasuring triggering the event. They are using their advanced technologies, the Molnir technology and others to eliminate the remaining dark darkness on the planet. Conjunctions From January 11th to November 11th, there have been many planetary conjunctions in Capricorn in 2020, and there will be a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius on 21st December, as we have said. In reality, there are still many planets in Capricorn throughout 2020. This 
energy triggered the purification of any anomaly of distortion in the control system that has existed on this planet. All the corruption, all the fraud, all the lies, all the deceit has been exposed throughout the year. And this is what all these planets in Capricorn were causing through, throughout transits and conjunctions. And we have a big energy shift in December, where many of the planets and asteroids will leave Capricorn and enter Aquarius. And we will begin to get much more of the Aquarian energy and that will bring a much needed vision and a higher perspective of the collective evolution of humanity. And also a more cosmic perspective which involves first contact, the event, and a higher level of evolution of society, which is dramatically needed at this time. But according to COBRA, it's extremely unlikely that the event will occur in the next few weeks. The so-called event will be the moment when the, the pot of all truth will be unearthed. Political transition. It ensures that the political transition progress, process that is taking place will continue in a manner that is legal, lawful and in accordance with the higher purposes. The dark forces are always trying to disrupt, disrupt the flow of the timelines and will continue to do so, to do so while the forces of light are diverting, diverting as, that as much as possible. The forces of light are doing what they can to stabilize the situation there. It is not yet fully stab stabilized and this is connected to the world geopolitical situation and it is connected to the plans of the dark forces for their own version of the financial restart that will not happen at all but they are doing everything they can to bring us as close as possible to their drug timeline so the forces of light are addressing that situation and trying to stabilize it as much as possible there will be a huge, a huge reactivation of the planetary light grid in 2021, which will involve many vortices and key line, uh, ley lines. This, is, this final battle has been very intense. It has been cruel and brutal for some of us, but we have now survived 2020. It was a very strange year for many, many unexpected things happening and now we are just before the enormous transformation where major astrological changes will occur and it will bring many new energies that will bring the forces of light closer to the surface of the planet and this will be felt intensely intensely then think things have can finally begin to change on the physical plane where any manifestation is always slow because of the great density in which we live thanks a lot and take care bye bye